The Hockey Museum is the only museum for the sport of hockey in the world. Our remit is to collect, preserve and celebrate the heritage and the history and the stories of the sport of hockey and to share them with the world. We are recognised officially by the English and world governing bodies for the sport. Uh, we were founded in 2011 in the lead up to the London Olympic Games by a group of hockey enthusiasts and then we've been on a, a gradual journey of development and evolution and professionalisation ever since. One area of our growth and evolution that we've decided to focus on is the quality, diversity and inclusion and that's led us to the action plan that we've created supported by South East Museum Development. When I joined the Hockey Museum there was a lot of richness in the way the museum was all encompassing and then we had an opportunity to build on that uh, by attending a equality, diversity and inclusion program by the South East Museum Development which was full of richness. It had other museums taking part in it, it had guest speakers taking part in it and it was great to be part of that museum-wide initiative. One of the key outcomes of the training was that we had to have an action plan which shows how we were going to actually implement the learning and to do that we at the Hockey Museum had an EDI committee and this committee then presented to the board saying this is our action plan for equality, diversity and inclusion. Uh, this was actually refined by talking to the South East Museum Development External Consultants who have a great experience about these things, going to and fro and making sure we were on the right track and our action plan was going to be something that was realistic and achievable. The action plan was approved by the board we then went on and applied to the South East Museum Development about the grant which would then help us and enable us to implement three strands which we feel were really important to embark on the EDI journey. And those three strands were really embedding EDI in everything we do, training and development both for the volunteers and the board, and also bringing out hidden histories. The embedding part of the Hockey Museum's action plan is focused on making equality, diversity and inclusion uh, an innate part of our culture here at the museum um, so that we're not thinking of EDI as an afterthought uh, but it is at the forethought of, of any projects that the museum might start to, uh, to generate. So in that process of we're going to start this project where well, we're thinking about how can we make it diverse and inclusive, um, how can we work with communities, how can we allow everyone to see themselves in the stories that we tell. Training and development is a very important element of our uh, action plan and having secured a grant from the South East Museum Development, we used that money to get our training done top down. So we had a day where all the trustees attended a very good and effective uh, training program. We want to take it further and actually penetrate that with the volunteers also at the museum. The Hidden Histories element of the Hockey Museum's EDI Action Plan uh, builds upon bringing out stories from within the collection um, that might have otherwise been forgotten. There hasn't been a st any structure around identifying certain types of story that fit within an EDI framework, so the Hidden history side of the Action Plan um, is allowing us to identify these materials and to bring them out and to celebrate their stories, but also to build community relationships that will help us to have a hockey museum that is completely representative of the diverse hockey family and the wider public. The EDI journey we've embarked on, it actually brought the Hockey Museum community together. Uh, we're talking about it at the board level, we're talking about it with the volunteers, we're talking about it with the other museums. I think it's something which is here to stay and in the longer term and the future it's going to actually help the museum get even richer than what it is today. The support of South East Museum Development through the Museum Wide Programme has enabled the Hockey Museum to position itself better for the future, the community links that we will build, but also the business case as well. When you're looking for grant funding, you need to be able to demonstrate what you're doing around equality, diversity and inclusion for every grant that you might go for. And so as a result of our EDI action plan, there will be uh, structures and a, a cultural evolution within the Hockey Museum that will can only benefit the museum's long-term sustainability.